Snakes produce venom in specialized glands, typically located on either side of their head, behind the eyes. These glands, known as venom glands, are modified salivary glands that have evolved to synthesize and store complex mixtures of toxic proteins and enzymes. The production of venom begins at the genetic level, where specific genes encode the proteins that make up the venom's active components. Ribosomes within the gland cells translate these genetic instructions into polypeptide chains, which are then folded and modified in the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus to form functional toxins. These toxins often include enzymes like phospholipases, metalloproteinases, and serine proteases, which disrupt cell membranes, degrade tissues, and interfere with blood clotting, respectively. The venom is stored in the gland until it is needed, at which point it is delivered through ducts connected to hollow fangs or grooved teeth during a strike. The term hall of fangs is not a scientifically recognized term, but could be interpreted metaphorically to describe the internal structures that facilitate venom delivery. Within the system, the venom glands work in conjunction with muscles that contract to expel the venom under pressure. The fangs, which are part of the maxillary bone, are adapted to channel the venom into the prey efficiently. This system reflects millions of years of evolutionary refinement, driven by natural selection to optimize hunting and defense. Venom composition can vary widely between snake species due to differences in ecological niches and prey preferences, showcasing the adaptability and specialization of their venom production mechanisms. Scientists study these processes not only to understand evolutionary biology, but also to develop medical applications, such as antivenoms and drugs derived from venom components.